Amid increasingly fierce competition in the smartphone chip market, Huawei is set to launch a significant product, its next-generation flagship chip, the Kirin 9030. It is expected to debut alongside the Mate 80 series towards the end of the year. This not only reflects Huawei's determination to achieve technological breakthroughs, but also has the potential to reshape the competitive landscape of the high-end smartphone market. For those eagerly awaiting the new device, expectations are running high. Numerous rumors about this new phone have already circulated in the market. To provide clarity, I've compiled some information. Below, we'll briefly discuss the news surrounding the chip and the new phone to see if it's truly worth the wait. According to media reports, the Kirin 9030 processor is expected to be released in the second half of the year, and its naming is unlikely to change significantly. Plenty of related information has already surfaced in the market. While industry giants compete fiercely over 3 nanometers and 4 nanometers process technologies, Huawei has chosen a different path, adopting a chiplet cluster architecture. This approach uses multiple chips working in concert to overcome the physical limitations of a single chip. This design marks the first time the cluster concept from Huawei's Ascend AI servers has been introduced to the smartphone side. CPU, GPU, and NPU are no longer constrained by physical boundaries, allowing for flexible computing power scheduling. For example, during gaming, idle NPU resources can instantly participate in graphics rendering. When editing videos, the computing power of multiple chips can be pooled to form a virtual large core. This design could also enable modular combinations, bypassing the limitations of advanced process nodes. Transistor count is no longer restricted by the size of a single chip, offering a new approach to circumventing external constraints. While its current performance might not yet reach the peak levels of the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 or Dimensity 9500, its energy efficiency ratio is expected to see significant improvements. Coupled with the new generation GPU turbo technology, performance and power consumption should be more balanced. However, the specific manufacturing process used remains a mystery, and we await official confirmation. Details about the architecture are also unclear, but considering the performance of the Kirin 9020, this upgrade should be substantial. Reports indicate that the Kirin 9030 chip will offer a 20% performance increase, though it's uncertain which earlier chip this is compared to. Wuktek points out that if it still uses a 7 nanometers process, Achieving such an improvement without upgrading lithography technology would represent a significant leap. The Kirin 9030 is expected to launch at the end of the year, representing a major upgrade over the Kirin 9020 chip used in the Pura 80. Huawei claimed the 9020 already delivered a 40% improvement over the 9000 series. If the 9030 offers another 20% boost over the chip in the Mate 70 Pro Plus, the overall performance gain could reach 50 to 60% compared to the 9000's 5G SoC. Although the Kirin 9030 might continue using the 7 nanometers process instead of the highly anticipated 5 nanometers, an earlier Financial Times report revealed that Huawei is rapidly building an advanced chip production line in Shenzhen. This line is intended for manufacturing 7 nanometers smartphone and Ascend AI processors suggesting its first attempt at producing its own high-end chips. Meanwhile, the Kirin 9030 is also expected to power Huawei's other flagship devices, such as the Mate X7 foldable and a more advanced X-T2 trifold model. It may even extend to the next-generation Pura series, slated for early 2026. In the smartphone chip arena, Huawei's Kirin series is achieving a miracle with its three generations in two years iteration speed. In November 2025, Huawei will release the Mate 80 series, with its Kirin 9030 chip becoming the industry's focal point. This processor, featuring a 1 plus 3 plus 4 tri-cluster architecture, offers a 20% performance increase over its predecessor, the 9020, while GPU energy efficiency leaps by 40%, directly targeting Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. The current global high-end smartphone market presents a tripod structure. Apple dominates the high-end segment with its A-series chips and iOS ecosystem. Samsung leverages its full industry chain advantage to lead in displays, while Huawei builds differentiated barriers through self-developed chips and the Harmony OS system. According to IDC data, 
Huawei captured 38% of the global $600 plus high end market share in Q3 2025, trailing Apple by only 5 percentage points. Against this backdrop, the launch of the Mate 80 is seen as a crucial battle for Huawei to challenge for the high end market crown. The technological breakthroughs of this new device are of milestone significance. The Kirin 9030 not only continues Huawei's advantage in CPU, slash GPU co-design, but also achieves a 60% increase in transistor density using TSMC's 3 nanometers process. More notably is its dynamic voltage scaling technology, which reduces power consumption by 15% while maintaining performance. This technological combination solves the long-standing pain points of heat in high-performance ships while avoiding battery life issues, creating a golden balance point for mobile processors. Traditional mobile chips use a fixed big dot little core setup, often leading to wasted performance during complex tasks. The Huawei Mate 80 employs a 1 plus 3 plus 4 tri-cluster architecture. Through the dynamic combination of 1 Cortex, X5 Super Core, 3 A720 performance cores, and 4 A520 efficiency cores, it achieves a perfect balance between performance and power consumption. Real-world tests show that when running Genshin Impact at 4K resolution, the chip intelligently allocates tasks. High-load scenes are handled by the super core, while daily tasks are managed by the medium-slash-small cores. This dynamic division reduces overall power consumption by 18%. The brilliance of this technology lies in its frequency regulation algorithm. When detecting a gaming scenario, the system automatically boosts the X5 core frequency to 3.0 GHz while shutting down two A520 cores. This precise scheduling limits frame rate fluctuations in honor of King's 120 frames per second mode to within 0.5 frames. Compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4's 2 plus 6 architecture, the Mate 80 offers a battery life advantage of up to 1.5 hours at the same performance level. Even more impressive is its energy efficiency revolution. By adopting TSMC's 3 nanometers process, the Kirin 9030 achieves a transistor density of 300 million slash mm superscript 2, a 60% increase over the 7 nanometers process. Lab data shows that after continuously playing 4K video for 1,000 hours, the chip's power consumption increased by only 12%, far below the industry average of 25%. This is a significant boon for business professionals requiring constant 24-7 standby. In the graphics processing domain, Huawei again demonstrates its technological integration prowess. The Kirin 9030 integrates the Mali G720 GPU. Through efficiency core optimization, the phone's temperature is controlled at 41.5 degrees Celsius during full-frame Genshin Impact testing, 5.8 degrees Celsius lower than the previous generation. More crucially is its dynamic resolution technology, which automatically adjusts rendering precision based on the scene, reducing power consumption by 30% while maintaining image quality. Working in tandem with the deep optimizations of Harmony OS 6.0, it achieves true hardware-software synergy. The newly developed Arc Compiler 7.0 boosts game launch speeds by 35% and memory management efficiency by 45%. More noteworthy is its distributed scene awareness technology. When detecting a user gaming, the system prioritizes network resources for the gaming module, ensuring smooth 120 frames per second high-definition gameplay without lag. The Kira 9030's tri-cluster architecture design is nothing short of black magic technology. The 1X5 Super Core handles peak performance, the 3A720 cores tackle mainstream tasks, and the 4 a 520 cores manage background processes. This tier design reduces daily power consumption by 20% and boosts heavy load scenario performance by 25%. Real-world testing shows system resource utilization reaches 92% during multitasking, a 40% improvement over traditional architectures. Even more ingenious is its thermal migration technology. When chip temperature exceeds a threshold, the system automatically migrates tasks to cooler cores while dynamically lowering voltage to reduce heat generation. This design allows the Mate 80 to maintain full-frame performance even in 40 degrees Celsius environments, offering 30% better stability than competitors. 
As the first system deeply adapted for the Kira 9030, Harmony OS 6.0 is exceptionally aggressive in unleashing performance. Using a microkernel architecture, it reduces system response time to 0.15 seconds and boosts app cold start speeds by 40%. More critical is its AI resource preloading technology, which learns user habits to preload frequently used apps, enabling an instant open experience. Coupled with distributed soft bus technology, it enables seamless cross-device collaboration. When the phone detects a tablet or computer, it automatically offloads heavy tasks to other devices. This cross-terminal scheduling improves game frame rate stability by 50%. Also notable is its security isolation technology, running sensitive apps in independent sandboxes to ensure absolute security for scenarios like payments. Although the main camera still uses a 50MP RYYB sensor, Huawei achieved a breakthrough in optical design. The mechanical structure of the 10-step variable aperture has been redesigned, increasing aperture switching speed to 0.2 seconds while operating silently. Paired with the XD Fusion Pro imaging engine, dynamic range reaches 15.2 EV when shooting backlit portraits, 1.5 stops better than the iPhone 16 Pro Max. For video recording, the Super Anti-Shake 4.0 system integrates OIS plus EIS dual stabilization, improving stability by 70% during 8K per 30 frames per second recording. More stunning is its AI movie mode, which automatically recognizes 28 shooting scenes and adjusts color styles in real time. For instance, when photographing children, the system automatically enables shallow depth of field plus warm tones to create a cinematic quality. The launch of the Huawei Mate 80 marks a new dimension in high-end smartphone competition. Its Kirin 9030 chip not only resolves the industry's long-standing conflict between performance and power consumption, but also pushes mobile processing capabilities to new heights. Combined with the system-level optimizations of Harmony OS 6.0 and the innovative one plus three plus four tri-cluster architecture design, this model has already become the most anticipated flagship of 2025. From a market strategy perspective, Huawei continues its technology premium approach. Although the starting price is expected to reach 7,999 renminbi, this price point is quite competitive considering its technological leadership. Notably, as production ramps up, discounts of 500 to 800 renminbi are anticipated during the 2026 spring festival period, making it even more value-oriented then. For users seeking the ultimate experience, the Mate 80's chip and system combination represents a near-perfect solution. Whether it's the long video conferences needed by business professionals, the demanding graphics processing required by creative workers, or the smooth performance desired by average users, this model delivers beyond expectations. It's foreseeable that with the continuous evolution of Harmony OS, the Mate 80 will become a significant milestone in Huawei's quest for the high-end market throne. The combination of the Huawei Mate 80 series and the Kirin 9030 processor looks very promising, bringing considerable impact to the market. However, the good news is that the new phone isn't expected to officially launch until the end of 2025 or early 2026, so everyone will have to wait a bit longer. So the question, what are your expectations for Huawei's next moves? Feel free to join the discussion.